It's really good to do a race day simulation so you can try out. The main thing is trying out your race day shoes. I suppose the next best thing is trying out the, the marathon distance so you've got the confidence to know that you can cover that distance whether it's running or a combination of running and walking. Um, and then the race day nutrition so you will be very likely to be taking gels. I think hardly anybody doesn't take some form of uh, energy boost. Um, so if you get to try those before you race, um, you can see how they affect your stomach and different brands and different things. So it's one of those things that, yeah, you don't have to run a half marathon every time, but you should maybe try out a few different brands or find something that suits you the most. Uh, we tend to find that we prefer the Morton's gels. We think they're, we think they're um, more benefit. We get the energy release from them, but they tend to be a little bit slower than other ones. They don't kick so hard, um, or at least that's what I find them, you know, like the likes of the Unived or some other ones like that. So. Good morning folks, Matt here on the planet and today we're out for uh, two runs, we're going to do a half marathon and then we're going to increase the distance up to 35k or something like that towards the end, so a total of three, three hours of running. Two sessions really, um, my wife obviously she's running the Great North Run as well, so we're out today for a simulation run. So, so what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the uh, taking the Morton drink throughout the route, that's the Morton energy drink that you take pre-run and during the run, so she'll be using that. And then uh, we'll be taking the Morton gels at strategic places uh, throughout. Now, um, a lot of training plans out there won't have you running the marathon distance just before the marathon, but we're doing it today because um, it's a simulation for the event. She's already run it before and she'll be trying for, a, for another PR this year. So. So it's kind of a nice day out with the Keyside today. We've got a fair bit of sun, um, which isn't ideal, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit windy in one direction. Um, I was going to film the start with the running the other way, but it's actually uh, too windy going the other way. So this way is not too bad. I think it's always good to do something of a simulation of your race day, probably three or four weeks out. We're probably, I think we're actually five weeks out of the walk from the Great North Run, but this is a good time for, for her to do it. So it gives you a chance to recover as well. Um, like I say, she can already run half marathon distances, so it's not something that's new to her. Just doesn't run them all the time. And she has done the Great North Run before. It's always good to wear your race day shoes. In this case, it's the Vapor Flying X% 2. It's obviously a shoe that you probably won't do most of your training in because the, uh, the life in them is not that good and they're quite expensive. Although we did manage to get this pair in the sale again. In fact, I don't think I've actually paid full price for a pair of it. Like, maybe the first pair we bought. So, we're about, about three and a half K in, um, and the pace is 623 average. Just taking the first gel, uh, doing quite well. Heart rates come through around about 150 beats a minute, so can't complain with that. We'll just keep going along. This sun's gone away a bit, it's overcasting again now, which is quite nice. So. This is strong. Let's get back to it. So that's us 13 kilometers in. Um, we've got, we just had the second gel. So it's going really, really well. That's two, basically two thirds of the run done. Um, and holding a strong goal pace. So 
heart rate still, where's the heart rate still? 152, so not bad at all. I think I remember this time last year we did it and it was about 159. Yeah, yeah, it was last year. It's quite high. And your pace is faster than last year as well, so. Yeah, it's going good. Let's get back to it. Okay, folks, so there it is. Um, 35 kilometers. The simulation run we did at first, that went really well. Um, that was uh, that was my wife trying to get a, not, a, not going for a PR, but um, try and get a, a good a good result on, uh, get a good simulation for race day. So she's trying out uh, the gels, when we're going to take the gels. So it went really, really well. Um, one thing she didn't like, the caffeine motor and gel, she's never had that one before, it's the first time she tried it. So, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, a reason why you should be doing a simulation, trying out your, your race day strategy and fuel and stuff like that. Because that's what she didn't like, so we said she doesn't like it.